Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna help you try to answer. Is it worth it to go to the Azores? So let us take you to some of our favorite spots in the island of San Miguel and you decide for yourself. One thing to always keep in mind here on Sao Miguel is that the weather is always changing and you will see that throughout this video. We highly recommend staying flexible and using the cameras that are strategically placed around the island to help you determine where to go next. So we drove from the other side of the island because we saw that it was sunny here thanks to the cameras that they have. And here we are, finally. This is where you would normally, or often I should say, see that there's what looks like two lakes. They're separated by a bridge, but it's one lake. But ultimately, this one here closer is supposed to have a green look to it due to it being a bit shallower on this end and a lot of extra algae and then once you get on the other side of the bridge oftentimes it's really blue because it's a deeper area i think it's more the reflection of the blue sky but today not uh, showing its blue colors to us that's okay we're very happy to be here Here we are, we made it down to the hot spring in Furness. And uh, at Terra Nostra Park. Ter Terra Nostra. Yes. Now why is the water this color? This because there's iron in the water. There are a number of hot spring jacuzzis of varying temperatures here at Terra Nostra, as well as numerous trails. Plan on spending a few hours here and get lost in the beauty of this land. As you drive around this island, you will find countless places with stunning views like this. Don't become focused on just making it to a location because the journey is just as nice regardless of where you're headed. All right, so when you come to Miradoro do Salto de Farina, to go see the waterfall, which I'll show you guys shortly. Um, the parking isn't real great. I'll show you that behind me. Right there, it's kind of up the, up the street, and I'm sure during the summertime it probably gets packed. So just keep that in mind. If you wanna come out here, do it in the morning probably. path down to the waterfalls is relatively easy and worth the walk, but it is a bit of an incline. This was by far the hardest location to view because it is so high that it is often in the clouds with no visibility. Again, we recommend you use the cameras to see when you might get a clear view. We were here for 10 minutes. Watch how fast the weather changed on us. Just like that, went from beautiful, nice sunny day. Here 
is another breathtaking volcanic feature that is now a protected reserve. During the summer months, you can paddleboard, kayak, or get a motorboat to take you out to this island so you can enjoy the beach and the crystal clear water inside. This was the site of the Red Bull Cliff Diving Competition recently. A trip to this literal geologic hotspot will give you the unique opportunity to swim in a hot spring in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. There are bathrooms and changing rooms available here. Lucy, what are you eating here? It's a pifana. Big, big. A <laughs> big pifana. Where are you from? Uh, Las it's Vegas, a, Nevada. Walking down the street, next thing you know, we're amongst all these people in this crowd. Have no idea why. Everybody's standing right in front of this church. Here. So who knows? Lucy and I are walking down to the ocean. It was recommended for me to take a swim in the cold water to help alleviate some of my back pain. So Lucy being a champ says she will try to go in the water with me. Try. So we'll find out how this works. <laughs> you can see the beach for locals. a beach at all, it's just a big concrete slab. That's where everybody goes swimming. Oh, not that bad. No? There he is, great soul. Just like a local. <laughs> Lucy <laughs> made it. She made it into the water. I she did it. <laughs> she I just forced it. Ponta Delgada has most of the amenities of a big city, including a large shopping mall, a bustling downtown area, a number of parks, and great dining options, but still has that small town feel with a population of just 46,000 people. At the start of this video, we asked, is it worth it to go to the Azores? And we believe we have shown you the answer to that question. Don't make the mistake we made and think after three days you'll be bored. Stay a week or a month, you will have plenty to keep you busy here in the Azores. If you have any questions about this magical place, Drop them in the comments below 
and we will answer them as best we can. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so, to let us know that you would like us to continue to put out more great videos. Until next time, peace, love, and travel on.